I've gathered some of your favorite Yugi tubers to play some good old fashioned retro formats. But here's the issue. Standard matches are boring. In this series, we'll be playing conquest style matches, inspired by Hearthstone's competitive format, bringing four decks with no sides, banning out one from the other player, and playing a best three out of five for once you've won with the deck, you can't use it for the rest of the match. Can we win in the formats we know so well, or will we fail and make fools of ourselves in the wider Yugi tubing community? This is Retro Rumble. Hello and welcome back to Retro Rumble, the show where I bring on your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! content creator so we can compete in retro formats and conquest matches. So last time, we finally got our first win. Unfortunately, we went through a lot of red tape to get that win. I completely forgot about Solemn Judgment under Jinzo. Just, I have no excuse. That was tunnel vision at its finest right there. It's okay, we have a chance to redeem ourselves today. We're actually going to be playing in a format that I am very intimately familiar with. For those of you who've been around for a while, you'll know that I have exactly one regional win under my belt, for which I went 8-0 at the Buford, Georgia Regional, which was the precursor to the Atlanta Regional back in January of 2016. This was directly before Pepe format started. Format that I personally have a lot of love for, but apparently is not really played too much. While we're not looking at that specific format today, we are looking in the same general time frame. Pepe has just been slaughtered by an emergency ban list hit as we're going into the national season of 2016. Monarchs are on the rise, so let me introduce you to Monarch Format. It's fun. So for those of you who are unaware, back in 2016, Pepe came out in around February and absolutely dominated the space immediately. So much so that there was a ban list released on its first major US YCS, although Sydney did happen directly before this. That emergency list effectively killed Pepe in its current iteration and rebranded itself into Draco Pals, which by this point in time, Draco Pals had also taken another hit and it is now somewhere around tier two. So going into the national season, people were looking for a deck that could absolutely dominate the space. And they found extra deck Monarch. Most of you are probably familiar that Monarchs actually got a really powerful boost of new cards in early 2016, uh, primarily in domain of the Monarchs. However, extra deck Monarchs completely skips out on the idea of extra deck locking and instead opts to play a series of monsters in the extra deck to use kind of like a toolbox. Namely, rank fives like Pleiades, Durandal, Adrius, etc. Uh, these are all enabled by two cards in particular, the first of which is the Prime Monarch. This card can actually be special summoned back to your field as a level five if it's in the graveyard by banishing any other Monarch spell trap in the graveyard. Really useful for setting up tribute fodder, but also really useful as rank five material. The other card that really sets this up is Brilliant Fusion. For those of you who don't know the power of Brilliant Fusion, effectively what you would do is is you would send Garnet and any other light monster from your deck to the graveyard in order to summon out Serafinite. From there, your light monster would certainly have some kind of a graveyard trigger effect as most people were using Trick Clown at the time for this, but Monarchs specifically could send Adia, which then would return any of your banished Monarch spells or traps back to your hand. Really useful there. Once that was done though, Seraphonite provided an additional normal summon and it was a level five body, so you could exceed it with a Prime Monarch into one of your rank five options. Realistically speaking, this is going to be the deck to beat in the format, mainly because it has one particularly really good matchup in the other best deck in the format, which we'll get into soon enough. Moving on to Draco Pals. Uh, in particular, I'm bringing Magispector Draco Pals. So the main power of this deck comes in the form of Magispector Unicorn Kieran, who is just bounce itself and anything else every turn it is incredible searchable with bunbuku it's this is all around the reason you would be playing a pendulum strategy at this point in time there is a reason kieran is currently banned it is really really powerful to have a monster bounce that recurs itself off pendulum summons and on top of that it doesn't even go to your extra deck it goes to your hand again it's just an all around an incredible card. Beyond that, we're playing a lot of the Draco Slayer pieces to try and take advantage of Draco face off here, even though it's only at one copy at this stage. We've got Triple Master, one Vector, one Lector, and one Luster. Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, is by far and away the best one of this group as it triggers all of your main lines, but unfortunately it is at one, so it's not nearly as reliable as it used to be. One of the main things that this deck has a tendency to do is go Luster in one scale and Ariadne in the other scale. Luster 
Buster can then pop Ariadne to search for another copy, and then Ariadne gets you a counter trap. Uh, you show three to your opponent, and then they have to pick one to add to your hand. So we usually can show them Scolding, Strike, Warning, the good cards. Moving into what I honestly think is the absolute best deck of this format, while the format might be named for Monarchs because Monarchs were dominant at this particular stage, they are not nearly as fun at this particular point in time as Burning Abyss Phantom Knight, or as it is colloquially referred to, PK Fire. This deck is a rank 3 menace so basically any of your monster lines here can get you into dante which in turn starts up your engine by milling and also gives you access to beatrice really useful in that regard on top of that all of your burning abyss monsters give you such good utility you have burn with barbar back row removal with cow cab uh, revival with seer temporary removal with farfa uh, special summoning power with Graf, more special summoning power with Libic, and searching with Skarm. All of them are extremely useful, and Tour Guide, do I even need to mention it? It's just a one card rank three in that regard. Uh, Terror Top and Takam Tomborg are also a, just a rank three starter, really useful. And then we get into the Phantom Knight cards. Uh, honestly, these cards are so good. We got two Cloak, one Gloves, and three Boots for our monster line, and then three Fog Blade for our trap. The idea is you're going to be able to get uh, rank threes on the board very easily with these uh, to get access to things like Break Sword, which can either pop a card you control and something the opponent controls, or you can pop himself and anything the opponent controls and then use his ability to revive back the Phantom Knights that you used to make him in the first place, which they become level four, so you get access to Master Key Beetle. Uh, pairing Master Key Beetle with a card like Anti-Spell Fragrance is hilarious. Lastly, and I really do hate to say it, but this is probably the weakest deck in our lineup, this is Tin Can Turbo. Uh, Demise Cosmo, for those of you who don't know the colloquial term. The uh, basic idea of this deck is we can stack the effects of both Cosmo Tin Can and Card of Demise to give us severe advantage. Uh, we can get Tin Can onto our board, uh, fill our back row, Demise, fill our back row. End of the turn, we resolve Demise first, and then we use Tin Can's effect afterwards, which gets us uh, one of three Cosmo ships, uh, which puts the other two into the grave. This gives us an option to tag out Tin Can into in the next turn, like Dark Destroyer, Slip Rider, or Dark Lady, and it also puts monsters into our graveyard so we can bring them back with things like Oasis of the Dragon Souls and Call of the Haunted. These are really, really powerful. I am honestly excited to use this deck i know it is not that strong but it is one of my personal favorites of this format uh, in addition to that we have a teched in copy here of chaos trap hole uh, these are very specifically to counter out monarchs uh, because we want to be able to we want them to tribute their board and then stop Erebus or Aether from hitting the board at all. It's just really good for that specifically. And it also allows you to basically negate a pendulum push from Draco Pals in some cases. With that said, let me pass it over to my guest. You probably already know him a lot better than you know me. So without further ado, here is my guest for today, Mr. MBT. Hello, duelists. It's me, Alex Simo, and I'm back for the first time on the Law Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube channel to play my favorite game of all time, Magic the Gathering. Uh, I'm, I'm super happy to be here, dog. Thank you for, uh, for, for asking me to come on and play one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! formats of all time. Absolutely. Honestly, I absolutely adore this particular format. Just the, the absolute diversity of it like at, coming out of such a tier zero format and then about to go into realistically in a few months another tier zero format because like we're only a couple months out from zodiac at this particular point yeah but it's, it's so funny because i mean this hits the sweet spot for me in that almost every deck is this like balls to the wall combo monstrosity but like the games do go back and forth there is interaction um you know, with one pretty big exception, but hey, you know, you can't win them all. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, the the one pretty big exception, just don't worry about it. Just, it, it's, it's one, don't worry about it. Look at all the fun decks we can play. The interaction actually happens when you pick up the Domain Monarch player's deck and you give it a shuffle. That's like <laughs> the interactive part, because honestly, that's like a 60, 70% win rate right there. Yeah, uh... Ugh. 
Yeah, either that or, you know, you just walk over, you pick up the domain in your hand, you tear it into little tiny pieces, and you continue with your day. Just you know, it honestly, the, if, if you eat the domain, there's no evidence for the judge, right? So, <laughs> like, who's to say what happened? I wouldn't advocate that. I'm not advocating that. <laughs> Oh, NBC, uh, you are permanently suspended after consuming 45 domains in the year 2016. I'm super excited to make <laughs> this happen. Uh, all right. I brought four uh, very interesting decks, two that I am intimately familiar with, and then two that we're going to see what happens. I brought four bangers. But rather, I bought brought three bangers and then one deck that we'll be lucky if we get a game out of. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. To, I'm ready when you are. Yeah, me too. All right, count it down. Three, two, one. Yeah, I know what I'm banning out. <laughs> okay, Cleefort's the pick, right? Oh, it's, it's got to be Cleefort, right? I yeah. feel like that's the scariest deck on this roster. Uh, without a doubt, Cleefort is not the pick for me. Uh, you brought actually some competent decks, and I am not scared of tribute summons with extra steps. Whoa, extra steps? Summons? I don't know what kind of deck you think this is. Um, yeah, I know what I want to hit, too. All right, if you're ready to go, I'll count it down. Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I feel bad because, like, it's not super representative domain was like a huge force during this time but if you want to like it, it, pretend that that you had that experience dear viewer just like imagine the two of us staring at each other for like 20 minutes <laughs> uh, yeah and you will get the same outcome yeah the deck was just quite frankly it is not fun it is just a brick fest all around or you lock your opponent out of the game and it's just uh, i don't really want to play with that honestly it was the first deck that was fun for neither player <laughs> yeah it, it was either a brick or a floodgate and it did well at nationals i just it, do, it did it, like two copies of domain monarch snuck into the top 64 and one had the dream run it was just like that deck had a good matchup versus like bapk and nothing else and it went like eight bapks in a row in top 64 it was yeah it, it absolutely got the dream run there yeah, but it also had a good uh it also had a good Draco Pals matchup. Uh yeah, but um Draco Pals I I mean you would know this better than me, but it was my uh I remember the Draco Pals were playing like a ton of spell trap hate out of the board for anti spell and it just had like a lot of crossover. That is fair. Pretty much everyone was siding twin twisters. Yep, me too. But yeah, uh, I banned out PK Fire just because you have two Monarch decks. I have to deal with it anyways. I'd rather get that was rid like of the... the wrong one. Why would you ban that deck? Cleefort's still legal. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Fair. Maybe I screwed up. But I am actually surprised that uh, you banned out Extra Deck Monarch. That's just not the ban I thought you were actually going to be throwing towards me. Well, given your history, I wanted to ban Magispector Draco Pals, but then we have like no Pendulum decks. And I'm like, that feels like it's not super represent. Oh, I guess we have Cleefort, right? Cleefort's a oh. Pendulum deck. Yeah, do you mean Tribute Summons with extra steps? It, that's that's Pendulum Summoning, baby. Uh. <laughs> All right. Rock, paper, scissors of destiny. Dang it. Let's go, baby. All right, we will go first. Okay. Uh, oh, this is our worst hand of all time. Um, what in the... Probably still make it work. What in the hell am I looking at? All right, well, you're going to be looking at this. Uh, oh tenacity, God. reveal, Kuraz. Oh, my God. We are going to grab... Yeah. Well, you want to you uh, want to draw two and get your monarch spell or trap of choice? Yeah, I mean, I I think it might be all right. Draw two here. Those are two pretty good ones. All right. Well, at uh, least at the very least, the domain is gone. Uh, that's uh, usually usually see extra deck monarchs only play in one of that. Yeah, we'll go uh, pantheism here. We're gonna reveal uh, prime prime return. Oh, prime prime and return thing there is that if you have double prime there i feel like you have another pantheism in your hand and i don't Could really be. i don't really want to give you that to immediately put in the grave i think i'm actually going to give you return yeah sure 
Uh, and then we do have the other pantheism. Right. Regrettably, we had to lead tenacity or this would just have resolved itself. Yeah. Oh, perfect. All right, we are going to special summon Speedroid Terror Top. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, let's. And we are going to add Hot Nothing. Uh, we'll go Takatomborg here. All right, let's see that Dante. There he is. Oh, uh, so wait, this is an extra deck Monarch. This is this is Monarch uh, Burning No, nope, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was really hoping for the... God. You were really hurt. hoping to hit the Prime? Yeah, the Prime there. That's okay. You know you want to cure as to dig one card deeper. Dog, I kind of do. <laughs> uh, let's just do this. Um... I'm going to send Skarm to the grave for B. Okay. Hmm. Well, hey, at the very least, you'll get a prime set up for next turn. At the very yeah, least. tell me about it. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to pass it. We'll resolve Skarm. Okay. This is a bit of a rough hand, but it, it could be a lot worse. Um, I'm going to grab Graph. All right, then. We'll get that draw for turn. Uh, standby main. I'm gonna be completely real. Uh, this hand was a uh, like was about as gas as it could have gotten, and then I drew the last card in my hand. Uh, which did it change something? No, it, it it basically it's still a gas hand, but it really bricked up uh, my line here to where I'm not entirely sure how to go about this. I think the best way to do it is we're going to start by going set one, set two, set three. We're going to activate Cosmo Town. Yeah. We're then going to send Cosmo Town to the graveyard to set a field spell in our field spell zone. Yeah. And then we'll card a demise to get three. You got to do what you got to do, buddy. Go for it. <laughs> Yeah, I did not want to draw that additional Cosmo Town. That just kind of that kind of stung a little bit. We'll try to upstart here to get another draw. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that realistically, I think that will actually do it. I think we're gonna go set, set, uh, attempt end of main. Uh, we're gonna go Beatrice here. Okay. We're gonna send Libic to the grave. Um, we're gonna go Dante one target Skarm Libic two. Okay. We're gonna special Seer. Yeah, with its uh, it's, its effects are negated, right? So it doesn't auto die. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we are going to uh, reveal Aether to allow you we're to tribute summon right now. Gotcha. Yeah. We're gonna banish the tenacity. Gonna tribute these two. For Aether. Okay. Uh, we are going to go uh, Aether 1, Seer 2. Okay. Uh, we're going to summon Dant. Yeah, the one that the one that doesn't die here. Makes sense. Uh, we're going to send Prime and Frost Blast to summon I'm going to be Aeros. fair. I don't... I don't really see Frost Blast played that much, uh, even in oh, it was, it was pretty popular uh, during this period for exactly what you're seeing right now, like the, <laughs> the, uh, the demise decks. Fair People enough. People labbed the week before the WCQ. Fair enough. Uh, see here, and then Arabis does not get an effect on special, but he'll go back to hand so you can tribute him next turn. Is that is that right? That's the concept. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're still at the end of my main phase here. Um, yeah, you can go off. I think we'll just proceed to end phase and resolve demise, if that's okay. Uh, the resolution of demise is fine. All right, we'll put Slip Rider in grave. And then we will go Prime Monarch. We'll banish Return here. Okay. And then we'll resolve Erebus, or uh, Aether, rather. Yeah. Fun fact, by the way, did you know you can actually click the attack defense values on Dueling Book now and... Uh, change them to be reflective of what it actually is. Let's go! Okay. Uh, with that said, it will go to you. Anything in draw? Uh, draw phase is good. Stand by main? Mm hmm. All right. Um, well, let's lead pantheism. Uh, pantheism is good. 
we are going to reveal Tenacity, uh, Tenacity, Stormforth. Tenacity, Tenacity, Stormforth. I will give you Stormforth. Are you sure? I'm positive. All right. Uh, there it is. Um, hmm. Let's get sniping. Uh, we'll go Frost Blast and Domain to try and hit this one. I am actually kind of upset that out of all of them, you actually hit the strike. Ooh. Easy. So Ugh. easy, baby. Um, all right. Uh, let's go Tribute off Aether for Erebus. And we'll try this effect. Yeah, uh, I believe Aether is, uh, Erebus is okay here. Uh, it doesn't target, if I'm not mistaken, so you're you're good. That's correct. We'll go Prime and Stormforth, and we will shuffle this one. Um, okay. Uh, let's go Prime here. We're gonna banish the Stormforth. Okay. Anything here? Uh, no, that is good. Uh, let's overlay for Pleiades. Pleiades nuts, gotcha. Uh, and then let's go Graph here. Okay, to go into uh, Beatrice. To summon Beatrice. Okay. And then we'll go Graph effect. Graph effect is good. Uh, we will summon Barbar. -bar. Who auto dies, I believe. And then we'll go Barbar -bar effect. Gotcha. Uh, we are just gonna banish Graph and can I target himself? Uh, yeah, no, uh, you just cannot. Graph. Okay. Oh right, full three hundred. I am, I am on Duel Link's brain right now, where Barbar -bar is one fifty. <laughs> oh Jesus, they put Barbar -bar in Duel Links. Oh, yeah, they put practically right. all of them in Duel Links, which is the shocking. Yeah, we're gonna thing. try it. Get him, Beatrice. Uh, we're gonna flip the good old Drowning Mirror Force. I was really hoping that there was not a Drowning Mirror Force in my future. Um, okay, we'll go Pleiades here. Okay. Uh, Let's target, we will target this one. Okay, and it's just back to my hand? Yeah. All right. Drowning Mirror Force is the saving grace right now. <sighs> Second main, uh, let's go, we'll do, just, we'll do the Dante here. I, I was gonna say, just make sure you don't forget that Dante. I'm fairly certain. The old trigger. Uh, let's go Libic. You have already, oh wait, no, you have not. You have not used Libic effect this turn. I'm. I got Libic mixed up with Graph for a second there. Right. Arm. All right. Do you have any threes that just pop back row? We do. Is yeah, that you have the. Better or worse. You have the, the super. Back row is. You have the super quant one. I am gonna go Grand Pulse here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go Grand Pulse target the last remaining one. All right. Uh, it's my Cosmo Joe. Cool. Uh. Well, I will set one and uh, back to you. All right. Uh, praying to God that I get something here or whatever. Um, that might work a little bit. So just confirming, Super Quantal is only a quick effect if you have blue underneath, right? No, he's just chilling. Yeah, he's okay. just a guy right now. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to set and we're going to cut him to my... Oh man! That was the okay. top yeah. deck. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. Ugh. I think we activate the Cosmo Town. Yeah. And we're going to use the effect of Cosmo Town to shuffle uh, shuffle back some Cosmos here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna put back a tin can. And a dark lady. Yep. Shuffle them up and draw two. Okay, that's better with a question mark. We're gonna go normal summon the tin can. Yep. We'll go set a card here and we'll proceed. We'll attempt end of main. Alright, yeah. Uh, we'll go Stormforth. I was afraid of that. Um, yeah, Stormforth is good. Uh, reveal Aether. All right. Okay. We're going to banish Sorry. the Stormforth, and then we're going to banish Pantheism for Prime. Not exactly where I want to be. Okay. Uh, we're going to tribute the Prime and the uh, Tin Can for Aether. Okay, that's that's fair. Then we'll go Aether. Okay. Uh, let's send... 
Tenacity... Does it have to be different names? Yeah, Tenacity Stormforth. I will call him our good friend. Yeah, good old Erebus. <clears throat> Hard think, but I think we're just going to go to end phase and resolve the demise and put Forerunner in the graveyard. Sure. And we'll pass it. This uh, is, draw for turn. Yeah, this is not looking great for me. I don't know. You're close to having it all. Uh, we're going to go uh, Grand Pulse, target this one. Well, uh, you uh, know. I guess we'll go Prime here. All right, what did we banish him? The, uh, okay. The Tenacity. This is the this is the going second curse of this particular deck. We're gonna go Erebus here. All right. Combat. Why? We will take the twenty eight hundred slap. Try and, the other one. And that one works too. Okay. Uh, let us proceed to end phase, and we'll resolve Scar. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh no. Go ahead. Okay, come on. Card of Demise number three? <laughs> no such luck. Um, well, we get a second chance here to save ourselves. Uh, we're going to go Cosmo Town. <laughs> yeah. Put Dark Destroyer uh -huh. back in the deck. Wonderful card, just not right now. And we will hit the concede button. <laughs> I was like, th I feel like Cosmo Demise is one of the weaker decks during this format. And yeah, like, but if, when it pops if off. If I get clapped to it, I literally cannot clear the rest of the field. But it's just, oh. if it pops off, it pops off. And I, I love this deck. Uh, unfortunately, every time I tried to pop off, uh, you had already gone first. So not much chance yep. there. throwing paper oh would you like to go oh, first or second? oh wait right <laughs> i'm oh my gosh i pulled a chaotic meatball oh no <laughs> uh yeah no uh, i'm going first here my my yeah, brain is somewhere right. else right now no no uh all good uh wow <laughs> Jeez, louise okay um need to think on this one for sure so i guess we're gonna start with rhoda yeah we're gonna go ahead and add up silent boots let's go baby let's go <laughs> uh we'll follow it up with a foolish barrier yeah let's go this is the fucking match <laughs> uh we'll dump ancient cloak here yep 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 uh, and then immediately fire that ancient cloak uh, to search. Absolutely. Good old glovey gloves. With that, we're gonna normal summon the gloves. Yeah, let's go, baby. Special the boots. Yup. And let's get playing this game. Dante. Oh, yeah. Fire it. Uh, yeah, actually, we are gonna fire it. Dante, we're gonna detach the boots, and we will mill three. Three good ones. Uh, three yeah, good ones. Three good ones, but unfortunately, no targets for Seer right now. Uh, eh, just getting Seer is is good enough. <laughs> well, that I mean, it does put it in rotation for the Dante grab Seer, Seer grab Dante loop for infinite time. With that, we're gonna <clears throat> silent boots banish out. Yeah, pretty sure you know what I'm grabbing here. Yep. Go. Scarm to Grave for Beatrice. Yep. Set. Set. And that will be it. We'll pass it over. Setting two. What? Oh, right. Okay. Oh, if you sorry. Show Scarm. Me anti -spell do you mind? Draw. Do you mind? Yeah, yeah. Scarm's fine. Yeah. No. Good grief. Uh, anti spell is in this deck. I will let you know. But it is not what I was like. Didn't see it in my opening hand. It was the next draw. Oh, thank God. Uh, um, I think, actually, we're just going to go ahead and grab Tour Guide here to be on the safer side. Seems right. Stand by main? Yep. All right. Let's stick of this yet. Tenacity. 
Uh, tenacity is good. Wow. You're gonna grab Stormforth. That is fair enough. Pantheism. Yeah, that's a good one. It's all right. Oh my god, and it gets a little better. e -telly. Uh, We are going to chain a good old card, Maxi. <laughs> wow. You're actually going to get to draw off Maxi in this match. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, all right, that's fine. Uh, we're going to grab blue here. Okay, we'll get a draw off Maxi. We're going to add red. All right. We are going to go domain. The, the card that I do not like, understood. Uh, we'll activate domain, reveal Erebus. That's a good one. Let's go uh, Stormforth. Um, we are going to chain to Stormforth Beatrice. Uh, no response to this. I think we'll keep it fairly simple, and we're going to dump Seer here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it'll be Dante chain link one, Seer chain link two. No response. Uh, so we'll do Seer summon back Dante and Dante add back Seer. Seems pretty good to me. Uh, with that, I think that's it for my chains. Go off, King. We're gonna activate return here. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I'm gonna try to tribute Beatrice. Uh, Beatrice is gone. I'm gonna go Erebus here, and we're gonna try to activate the effect. Um, we will chain good old Fogblade to that one, targeting Erebus. Yeah, no problem. Uh, let's go Pantheism. Okay. We are gonna reveal Pantheism, Pantheism, Tenacity. Oh, so basically I don't get a choice here. Well, I've tenacity already, don't worry. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you're right. You did start with tenacity, didn't you? Oh, shit. Uh, and we'll resolve uh, return as well. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. For nothing. Go ahead and resolve return. Res. Okay. And uh, I will give you tenacity off of that uh, pantheism. Right bet. Right. We're just going to go end phase here. Draw. Mm -hmm. We'll go standby main. I think the first thing I'm going to do here is normal summon tour guide and activate. That is fine. The play here is actually probably Graph. Yeah. We'll proceed to Overlay. Levy Air here. We're going to try for Aether here. Yeah. We'll banish uh, Tenacity. Okay. Uh, we are going to go like this. All we'll right. And Aether that puts fog. 1. Yeah, puts Fogblade oh, in Grave. Oh, that would put Fogblade in Grave, wouldn't it? We'll do Aether 1, return 2. Uh, chain link three, right. fog blade target aether. Uh, that's disastrous. Yeah, no response to that. Let's go. Okay. Another copy of Erebus. Okay. Uh, well, give me that guy. All right. Continue. Um, thinking now because now like my the, my big oh, my big uh, concern is no longer on the board. Uh, levy air effect. We're gonna detach tour guide here. Yep. And we're going to target Silent Boots. Sure. To put him back on the board. We can now go Fog Blade here to revive our Ragged Gloves. Overlay those two. Break Sword. Uh, Break Sword is going to detach the boots. And we're going to pop my own Fog Blade. And I think we're popping Domain here. With that, uh, Break Sword's at 3,000 because it was made with Ragged Gloves. So we do yep. have a way over the Aether. Dante to attack mode. Mm-hmm. Battle. Yep. Break Sword over Aether. I'll take, what, two here? It would be for two, yeah. Yeah. And now uh, Dante direct for 1,000. Yep. Okay, and Levier direct for 18. Also fine. All right, uh, so see here. End of battle, Dante will go back to defense. And main two. I think we just set one and we pass it at this point. All right, we're going to try for uh, Prime Monarch at end step. 
Prime Monarch at end step is good. All right. I was, I was legitimately worried there that you were going to go Prime Monarch in the battle phase and block my two uh, my two pokes. Because no, he's got I, a... I, I demand advantage. <laughs> he's got a fat ass for sure. Uh, yeah. Main one. Uh, let us activate right. tenacity, revealing. Re Eros. Revealing the one that we know is there. Yes. Gotcha. We will grab a Stormforth. Okay. Uh, we will activate Stormforth. Okay. Stormforth is good. Uh, we will go Prime and a Breaksword. Okay. For Erebus. We'll go Erebus 1, Return 2. Okay. Yep, that's good. Oh, finally we resolve this asshole. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go... Pantheism, Prime, we'll add Aether. Let's do the back row. All right, and it just, it's shuffled into the deck. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, let's go Pantheism. Okay. We will reveal. Oh my gosh, I misplayed so hard. I did a sequencing thing specifically so I wouldn't lose into this position and I completely forgot. <laughs> Do you wanna? Do you wanna walk it back? No, no, no. It's way too late for that. Uh, I just I forgot to banish the glove, uh, the uh, the boots from grave to get my third break, uh, my third fog oh, blade. Oh, I see. But like I uh, did it in that way specifically so I would be able to grab fog blade, and I just straight up forgot. Uh, we'll just get. Um... I mean, at this stage, it would be your last tenacity. But it would give you that option to go off next turn. Uh, I think, in all seriousness, I'm yeah. I'm just gonna give you the tenacity. Just get it over with. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I really don't like this position. Let's just go combat and walk into the Levire. All right. I'll take a thousand, and we'll get graph effect. Yep. The funny one. That is the funny one. Uh, we are going to go uh, Prime here, and then we are going to pass it. Okay, uh, we'll draw. Uh, stand by main. Uh, okay, so we're going to discard Seer to go into Beatrice. Yep. And Seer effect will... Rev oh, sorry, Farfa auto dies here. Yeah. Um, so seer effect, we will target, uh, target Skarm, and Farfa effect, we will banish the Erebus. Rip. So we summon back the Skarm, Skarm auto dies. Uh, we'll go set one into a lure for the, for the potential. Go for it, King. Okay. Yeah, that works. All right. Fog Blade to revive the Ragged Gloves. That's fine. We will special the boots. Good enough. Yep. Yeah, it, it got us there. It got us there. We're going to go for Breaksword here. Yep. Uh, Breaksword effect will detach one, target himself, and return. No response to that. Okay. Uh, breaksword effect to revive gloves and boots. Yep. And they are both level four at this stage. Mm -hmm. We will overlay these two for Master Key Beetle. Uh, we are going to activate uh, Master Key here, uh, pitch off the ragged gloves, and target my set card. Proceed to battle here. Uh, they we'll can hear walk. End of main. Master Key's at 35 here, right? Yes, he is at 35. It's kind of a huge fucking ordeal. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fuck around at end of main. Okay. Uh, we'll go uh, Prime Monarch here. Okay. And then we'll go uh, Aether. Okay. Uh, we are going to tribute both these. Sounds like a plan. We'll go Aether effect. Okay. Uh, we're going to grab Pantheism and 
return to grave. We're gonna special Kurez. The one that actually does something here. We'll go Kurez, target itself, and the master key. That's good. Uh, I guess I will send the car to the graveyard. Uh, wait, hold on. If master key doesn't die, I don't get the draw from Kurez here. Here's a question in all seriousness. Yeah, I actually have no idea. Is it going to destroy? Is no. it going to draw me a card? What's the plan? Uh, no, that's my point is that uh, if yeah. if Kiraz doesn't destroy both targets, do you get a draw? You know what's awesome? Uh, it turns out those targets, them and both targets are all different conjunctions that do different things. I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm reading it here. This is disaster. I'm like literally looking at the fucking Facebook page. That's how this game works, is you have to go to Facebook.com <laughs> to find the answer to these questions. Yeah. Oh, man, this is disastrous. Yeah, it looks like I will get to draw. Okay, that's I, I trust you on that. Um, all right, uh, well, I will. Kiraz will resolve. I will protect Master Key Beetle by destroying my face down anti-spell fragrance. Okay, well, that's uh, still disastrous. Oh, and that draw did nothing. Okay. I think we'll proceed to battle here and walk Master Key over Aether. Seven here. Yeah, and then we'll walk 25. 25 direct with Beatrice. Yep. Okay. Main phase two. We're not going to forget this time, and we're going to use the effect of Silent Boots. Yes. Fog Blade. I think what I need to do here is I'm going to use the effect of Ragged Gloves uh, to banish itself and dump a Phantom, Knight's, uh, Phantom Knight card from my deck. Yep. Uh, so we will use that to dump Cloak. Yep. And then we will use Cloak's effect here mm -hmm. to search for Boots. Okay. And I am now out of Phantom Knight's cards in my deck. <laughs> What 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 is the hand looking like? It's a uh, uh, you silent know boots. it's silent boots and fog blade. You know both of them. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to set a card that you could. Who knows? Maybe I'm literally I'm, anything. Maybe I'm playing the infernity cheater rules, and uh, yeah. and passing the turn to you. Uh, All right, so come on, dueling book. Has Erebus been tribute summoned? Uh, Yes, this Erebus has been has been tribute summoned. It was just it was banished and then returned with Farfa, so I'm fairly certain it remembers it was tribute summoned. Jesus Christ, this game is so bad. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> we're gonna activate tenacity. Okay. All right, we are gonna. Oh wow, things are getting dire. We're gonna grab Stormforce. Oi, okay. Uh, Stormforce. I am shockingly going to let that just go through. Yeah. All right. We are going to tribute Beatrice and Erebus. Okay. For Aether. All right. Uh, Aether well, effect. Do you have targets for Aether effect? I do have targets. Good grief. Okay. Well, Chainlink 2 will be Dante. And I think we will target Seer uh, with that one. Mm -hmm. And then chain link three is fog blade. I'm pretty sure here. Yup. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we'll resolve that. Get seer back to hand. Uh, okay. Well, uh, brilliant fusion, as it were. There is no way you still have garnet in your deck. <laughs> oh, go oh, garnet's in the deck, baby. Garnet is. I can't tell you how much garnet is in the deck. Uh, so, plus one light monster. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a pretty easy choice you. with that one. I got, I got a light monster <laughs> for you. Yeah. Uh, all right. There's uh, there's Seraphonite. We're going to go Aether eff or Adia effect here, right? Y yeah. Get Sky back the Get back whatever banished monarch spell trap you want. I don't, I don't really want any of these if I'm being completely real with you. Yeah. We'll yes. just go Stormforth. Okay. Uh, okay. Master Key is currently not attached to anything, right? That is correct. Master Key is his own is his own person right now. He's his own guy. So I know you have boots plus seer in hand. That is correct. Yes, you do know That's that. That's like so ass. Okay, uh, we're gonna go Prime Monarch. Okay. Uh, we will overlay these two. We will go Valk. Okay. Ooh. Valk this guy. 
I'll take 25. Correct. And that's it for me, gamer. Come on. It's not a whole lot because, unfortunately, that fog blade is still on the board. I had a line that did a shitload more damage, but I'm like, but it gets the fog blade off board. I can't do that. Yeah, the, the I will be real. If the fog blade was in grave, I probably would have had game here. But that makes this a lot more complicated. As crummy as it is, I think we go set and pass. All right, we'll I've, go prime at end step. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you're going to clean it up from here. Stand by main. Oh, that's a cool card. Uh, prime. Oh, boy. Uh, we'll make Pleiades. Yeah, that'll clean it up. You got it. Oh, God. What a slobber knocker. <laughs> what stinks is this was my top deck. So if Fogblade oh. wasn't on the board, I had rank three access. Are you are you playing Nightmare Shark in here? Uh, I am, as a matter of fact, oh, playing no. Nightmare Shark. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's rough. Well, I mean, even if Fogblade hit the grave, no matter what my top deck was, I could go Silent Boots, bring back uh, the Silent Boots in my grave and make Nightmare Shark. So... Keeping yeah. Fogblade on the board was a thousand percent the correct play. <laughs>
that's fine. Uh, okay, special boots. Also okay. Overlay uh, gloves and boots for breaksword. Yep. We'll go breaksword effect. Detaching boots. Target Dante and then this back row. Oh, come on. That's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, they are both warriors, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I would have. It's like, it's much better versus normal BA. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don, so, see here. Dante effect target Farfa. Seer effect target Dante. Yes. So, special back Dante and add Farfa back to hand. Yep. Uh, we'll now go pitch the Farfa to get ourselves good old Beatrice. Mm -hmm. And Farfa will banish away the Helix. I did actually normal this card. Oh, crap. You're right. Okay. Well, it's okay. If you want to do uh, something Mistakes else. happen. Banish boots. Yep. Get ourselves the Foggy Blade. I think we're gonna proceed to battle and well, uh, attempt. Drowning to get... has to. It has to be a direct attack. Oh right. I don't know. I keep thinking drowning's like quaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess quaking wasn't out at this point. Uh, main two. We'll set, set, and pass it to you. All right. Uh, in draw step, we will finally flip the anti spell. Oh joy. Tribute summon. Okay. Uh, see uh, here. Helix effect here, and then sacrifice two. Uh, see here, uh, target a spell trap, and you're targeting the anti spell. Yes. Yeah, you get the fragrance and get your sacrifice Grab. search. Man, I don't know. I already normaled. I want to get stealth here really bad, but that's like it's very bad. Uh, we'll take monolith. Okay. I'm gonna set one stale monolith. Uh, proceed to end step and draw a card. Um, thinking at end step. Yep. Uh, we will Beatrice at end step. That's fine. Yeah, we dump Cloak here. Uh, and then sure. Dante's effect targeting Seer. Sure. So, woo, that's back. Alright, Monolith. Okay, and draw for turn. Wow, that is a draw. Uh, stand by main. Break sword effect. Target himself and this back row. That's the drowning. Yep. Uh, break sword effect targeting cloak and gloves. I think I have to solemn this. Ooh. That, that's a fun one. Um, okay. So now I think we just, I think we just go, go from here and clean up. Will normal summon tour guide? Yep. Uh, and tour guide will grab us Seer. Yep. We'll then overlay that for, uh, I think here we go for Gram Pulse. And then we Gram Pulse, detaching Seer to pop the monolith. Sure. Uh, Seer effect will revive the Dante. Yep. Put Beatrice to attack here, and then we'll move into battle phase. Beatrice get over for a hundred. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dante direct for a thousand. Yep. Grand Pulse direct for eighteen. Dante will move to the fence as we go into main phase two. I think we will actually go ahead and do the ragged gloves. I realize I missed lethal, but we still need to put Fog Blade in the grave just to have it. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will pass the turn from there. Mm. Yeah, you got it. All right. Woo. Big surprise here. I'm going to try and go first. Yeah, no no surprise there. Okay, I got my I got my going first tech done, so uh, upstart goblin. I'll gobble up those thousand. 
I, I legitimately cannot believe it is playing some of these cards. Normal stealth, activate Necro Valley. One, two, three. What a miserable deck. How did anyone play this? Oh, stand by main. Ah. Yeah. Uh, attempt a terraforming here. Yeah, of course. Yeah, go for it. Cool, cool. We'll get Sky Iris. Um, we will activate Sky Iris. Yep. Uh, we will attempt to scale Master Pendulum. That's fine. Cool. Uh, Sky Iris effect target Master Pendulum. That's also fine. Okay. So we'll move that there. Yeah, I think it's probably just best that we go ahead and get this going. Uh, we'll grab Unicorn here. Yep. Scale. Yep. And scale. Yep. Are we about to just straight up lose? Could happen. It absolutely could just happen. We could get uh, Solemn Stricken out of this game. And honestly, I don't feel like losing to Solemn Strike here. Uh, we're gonna go Pend 1. Well, that's okay, yeah. We'll go Normal Summon Lecter. Sure. Okay, uh, proceed to battle. Yes. Uh... Master Pendulum over Stealth for 150. I'm going to Soul Transition here. What? Uh. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's not. It's not really. <laughs> uh. Go to extra face up. I'll draw two. Sounds like a plan. Uh. We will. A billion. Uh. Hmm. My question is, do you have the Drowning Mirror Force? Because if you do, that kind of ends me. Be cool, be cool. In for a penny. Yeah, yeah fuck it, we ball, fuck it, we ball. You got it. We're 1950, 1950. Yeah. Uh, Disastrous. We'll go to main phase two here. To extra deck, to extra deck. And we bring out Dinoster Power. He's a, he's a guy. Uh, then we'll set one and proceed to pass the turn. All right, stand by main. Yeah. It is, it is literally just not uh, uh, spell trap destruction. Um, uh, we'll pay think, hold on, we'll thinking over. on the activation of scout, actually. Yeah. Uh, as much as I do not like this, I think we need to. Uh, we're going to right. solemn scolding the activation. Wow. Uh, that's absurd. And um, that would... I'm pretty sure that just sends it to the grave because its activation was negated. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, well, that's horrifying. Let's go... Helix. Okay. Normal Helix. So he is at... Well, he's at 18, but all my guys he's are losing 18. 300. That's correct. Okay. Uh, just confirming here, Helix is currently level 2... Or level 4, correct? Yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to attempt to Pendulum Summon 2. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I will attempt a Normal Summon Guiding Ariadne. Horrifying. Uh, sure. Move to attack. Yes. Uh, proceed to battle. Lecter attack Felix. All right, on attack. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so I take, what, 150? Uh, you take, he's at what, 1650 to my... Oh, 24? you're right. You're right. Uh, no, he's at, oh, you're right. No, he, that's way worse. <laughs> uh, yeah, 550, so. Okay, uh, and that goes back to the extra deck. Well, fair play, fair play. Uh, main phase two. <laughs> yeah. So we'll go extra deck face up, extra deck face up. For a second Dinoster power. Awesome. Uh, dang, they're level eight. Not <laughs> that would have been that would have been fun. Um, and then we'll still in main phase two. Uh, Sky Iris target Master Pendulum. Yes. 
Okay, move that to the extra deck. We'll grab uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Sure. Scale Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Yes. Uh, proceeding to the end phase here, we're going to use Pendulum Dragon effect uh, to put it in the extra deck and then search for a Pendulum Monster. That's fine. It'd be so nice if that actually worked, but no, I think we're going to grab Pendulum Zork. Okay, I'll draw. Yep. Stand by me. Yep. That's okay. Let's activate. This card is so right. bad. Climate change. Uh. Add stealth back to hand. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Tell me about it. We're gonna tribute off Helix for Carrier. Okay. We're gonna go Helix target Sky Iris. Yeah, and it just pops it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna scale stealth, and then we'll PS1. Cool. So. Battle. They're at, yeah, so they're at 27, right? Under uh, stealth? Yes. Yes. Okay. We'll walk into the Dynastic here. I'll take a thousand. I wish we had something more interesting to be doing here. Uh, go ahead. Okay, uh, draw. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. As strange as it is, I think I have an out. Uh, we will scale uh, Magic Spectre Kieran. Yup. We'll spend summon one, two, three, four. Jesus. We will proceed to the battle phase here. Yes. And we will go Pendulum Dragon over Helix at this point. Mm, uh, why is that? Uh, on attack declaration, perform a pal Odd Eyes Unicorn in the Pendulum Scales effect. Uh, I will target Shh. Pendulum Sorcerer, and my Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon gains Pen Sorcerer's attack until the end of the battle phase. Ooh, that's cool. So he's at 37 to your 27, so it'll be 1,000 damage. Sure. I'll take a thousand here. Okay. And unfortunately, that's kind of all I can do. Uh, I'll pass I mean, that's, it. That, it kind of works. Yeah. It, it puts you on a clock. Because even if you get rid of it, I can always just pend it back. Uh, I'm going to PS1. Okay. Am I about to get absolutely domed? Okay. Um... We'll go standby main. Yep. We'll attempt to go battle second verse, same as the first. No response to this. Uh, all right, same deal. Uh, it'll go up to 37. It does It does put you on a clock because you can't even put in defense mode to stop this. Yeah, because then you just attack with the other guys. Yeah. Uh, pass the turn. All right, I'll draw. Standby main. Okay. Ooh. So you can only do that Odd Eyes Unicorn thing once, right? Uh, it's once per turn. Or, oh, wait. Crap. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I, I'm a little cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, apparently. It's cool. It's, it's once. <laughs> we'll just uh, yeah, we'll we, chill. Yeah, uh, yeah, good point. Oops. Uh, in that case, I So that means Helix out. is back back out. Um, yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll just take the damage. That's... No, 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 it's okay. Oh, uh, okay. Unless you would like to do that to clear a zone or something. Nah, it's not. Clearing a zone doesn't really help here. All right. All I, I, the am... only difference there is that I would want to put Pendulum Dragon into defense mode. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. I'll just set my pass. Okay. I hate ah, this. Ah, Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, Klee. Ah, uh, uh, Klee. Sart? Yeah. I think, I, do you have a target? Oh, I guess you do, do. still, you do yeah. have a, you have a monolith still? Yeah, yeah, that was last game, right? Oh, <laughs> right. It was just over very quickly. Um, all right, we're going right. to go sacrifice target Helix. Okay. Uh, we are going to, do we can go it. tribute monolith over the carrier. Carrier bounce the Helix. And then soul transition the monolith to draw two, but then I can't pen, so I just die. 
but it's very funny. Like, <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> Okay, I we'll mean, you could. The helix. I was gonna say you could do that and still get yourself up to soul transition at the end of my turn. Well, well, well. <laughs> then we will do that. <laughs> yeah, you, wow. you just have. To, uh, wait, uh, Monolith is a one tribute monster. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is um, Monolith tribute carrier, uh, carrier target helix. Yeah. Okay. And it goes back to my hand even. Oh, wow. That's nice. Uh, sacrifice. Okay. You know, it might just be worth it to just get a big guy and just start going to town. Uh, we'll get stealth. We'll, we'll get to the big yeah. guy eventually. I mean, yeah. it, it's just going to eventually... Eventually, it's just going to come down to the idea that uh, your guys are bigger than mine. I mean, we're eventually... Not if you keep sitting in defense mode. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're still going to... We're going to eventually hit a stage where you're pen 5 versus my pen 5. You could bounce your skill drain, two, please. 3, PS, 2. Is it worth keeping the stealth in my hand, or do I just want it in rotation? Uh, I think I just want a guy on the field. Okay. Is there a way I can do this that it would epically be epically based no uh go ahead. all right draw i am continuing to just feel absolute shame i have an out i need to be able to out the skill drain though ah <laughs> uh, there we go oh my gosh yeah fair enough fair enough like 45 cards in uh let's go necro valley okay uh set one this thing really just did not do anything for me huh uh, let me see if I can even activate this card. I can't. Oh, okay, well, good thing uh, Good thing we all learned that together. Go ahead. Okay, draw it. Uh, stand by. Main. We'll activate Sky Iris. That's big, yeah. Um, Sky Iris to pop Kirin. That gets me to Light Phoenix. Wow doing that now gives me light phoenix in that zone so that if i need to i can take a hit yes and that's about all she wrote <laughs> i'm still just sitting here just not able to really do anything battle okay uh this guy's like really big right yeah he's huge yeah uh Okay. Pass. Okay. Uh stand by main. Okay. Well, I'm going to attempt to pen summon one two three. Sure. Cool. <laughs> okay. End phase. I gotta discard now. Get rid of the donkey. Donkey. <laughs> Just immediately. Oh, no. It's not... I meant to hit to the gray card. Woo. This guy should be an extra. Yeah, okay. Uh. Let's just get him out. Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like. Uh, wow. I feel like this is just gonna keep going. <sighs> okay. Let's just play into that good old solemn strike you got there. Could could be literally anything. Could be literally anything. Go ahead, hit me with a strike. Yeah. The sad part is, I, like, I knew it was there, and that's the whole reason I pen summoned Guiding Ariadne with the last run. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, okay, so if he strikes me, it's destroyed by card effect, and I get a search. Yeah. But, uh, good grief. Just not in a, uh, in a good position at all right now. Hmm? 
All right, we'll just go combat here and we'll walk into one of them. This guy. Okay, uh, it's Vector. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. But don't go ahead so fast. Oh, so I'm locked to fairies now? Fun. <laughs> Tribute to set. <laughs> yes. Pend one, two, three, four. The Dagrons. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love having such centralized typings. Oh, right on time. Wow, that's so annoying. Uh, let's go one, two, three, uh, four. Okay. Wow, such a good card. I don't even know if I have targets. <laughs> uh, we'll attempt it again. The endless conga line of dudes. Yeah. And then pass. <laughs> Thrilling gameplay right here. Indeed. Oh my gosh. This might actually go to deck out. Uh, I've got something in here that will change the math, I think, but I, we'll see. I, I do have something in here that will uh, that could potentially end it, but the problem is I have to find it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, a lot of good this does me right now. Have a, I oh my god, half the fucking deck. I I, have I, I have, Actually. I know I have an out, but I have to get to it. <sighs> I think I've got just about everything I need except my out. Hold on, do I have an out? Where? Yeah, I have an out. And uh, two gray. Oh, you're kidding me. This is unbelievable. Uh, upstart <laughs> goblin. Yeah. Cool. Every single remaining card in the deck is the owl. Awesome. Uh, great. Not the owl. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Oh, wait, hold uh, on. I gotta, I gotta put... I gotta put the donkey in the grave. Oh, that's fine. Uh, we will tribute Helix for Helix. Okay. Uh, Helix effect and face up. Yeah. So what what are you targeting with Helix? Sorry. The card behind Helix. The like the card behind your Helix. Yes. I kind of have to do this. I feel so <laughs> strike. Oh my god, that's disastrous. Uh, ooh, yeah. Um, let's pend. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. <sighs> I think here we go. Pend face. <laughs> Stitch Ariadne pass. Let's go. Let's clean up the board here. With all the dragons. Go and phase. Okay. We will attempt to pend back out all of the dragons plus one. Yes. Put a different dude in rotation. Mm -hmm. Okay. This this has to be it. I, I will be fair, was not expecting this to be the uh, another 40-minute match. Yeah. We'll go Helix here for Carrier. Okay. We'll go Helix, target the back row behind 
the carrier. I hate to do this to you, but I have to strike this one too. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Oh my oh. gosh. So, I locked myself into my own back row. I can't even activate these. I don't know why I set them. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, I, my, here's the thing. I found my outs, but I needed you to trigger Light Phoenix for me to get them. Right, right. That was, that was terrible. That was awful. Oh, okay. Uh, You want first? Yeah. Okay. Well, I knew this deck would be the one that got farmed off, but uh, I didn't expect to this degree. An another banger of a hand, buddy. One, two, three, stealth. We do have card of demise. Oh, good grief. Okay. Oh, wow. Three, three really good ones. Well, you know, uh, go ahead. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's the way it is. Uh, Cosmo Town. Yeah. We will attempt to use Cosmo Town here. Oh, yeah. Go off. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we'll put back Forerunner and Dark Destroyer. Yes. Because at this point, those two do not do me much. Okay, it's not the worst. It easily could be worse. Uh, okay. This is uh, this is the match everyone's been waiting for. Anything in standby. Standby is good. Normal helix. Helix is good. Optimize. Yep. There he is. There he is. Oh, that is exactly what I didn't want to see. Uh, we will... Pay eight, eight feel great. No as response. It, as it were. Sacrifice. That's fun. Uh, activate sacrifice. Targeting helix. Yep, get your 2100 body. Go ahead. Oh, right. I don't take damage this turn. Uh, stand by main. I love these kind of hands. Let's go end step, lose a turn. Uh, let's see here while well, monsters face up on the field, negate the effects. Okay. So just, I don't get effects the turn they're special summoned. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Stand by main. Yep. Scout. Yep. I'm gonna grab Monolith here. Yep. Uh, normal stealth. Uh, stealth needs two tributes. Oh, wait, yeah. Sacrifice. He's got the I'm sacrifice, dumb. Right? I'm dumb. So we're going to go stealth one, sacrifice two, helix three. Yep. Let's pop this one. It just, uh, so, see here. Helix, does helix pop? Uh, yeah. helix pops, yeah. Yeah, uh, and then stealth does a non-targeting bounce. Or, no, it does that a... Is... It targets. Yeah, so, we'll, we'll call a target here. Let's do this one. So, is this one to hand or to grave? The the one that I'm currently on is to hand. Okay, so that's to hand, and then the other one's to grave? Yeah. Okay. Sad. <sighs> I don't want to just get another sacrifice, is what I would say if there was another sacrifice in the deck. There is not. Um, well, we also, grab... also uh, sacrifice can't get sacrifice. It has to be a monster. That's unfortunate. All right, let's um, let's PS two. Okay. Combat. Yep. Yeah. Uh, is it? No, it's thirty one. Wonderful. This is gonna be one twenty seven. This is gonna be the fastest match of them all. <laughs> we'll see. Back to you. Uh, maybe. All right. Okay. Let's, we're chilling. What the hell is your hand? Call Mojo. Well, you know, that's, uh... I drew my text that I couldn't use. Oh, man. Well, those... you know, I, I gotta say, when we loaded up those decks, I knew it was gonna come down to the fucking Demise decks. <laughs> these, In the context of the rest of this format, these decks are just so fucking bad. Yeah, but at the end of the day, that you have... They're, 
I, I mean, I guess technically it was either that or play Domain Monarchs, and neither of the that didn't sound fun. No, but unlike unlike the Domi, demise Clee Fort, that sounded really fun. I had to do it. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, thank you for coming on out, uh, MBT. I greatly appreciate having you on. And uh, yeah, go ahead. thanks to all of you for sticking around to the end. You sat through three Klee games. What's wrong with you, you <laughs> fucking freaks? <laughs> go ahead and shout out all your stuff. Oh yeah, uh, go to youtubecom slash Yu-Gi-Oh um, and hit that MF and subscribe button. Uh, subscribe to the Law Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, you're you've actually had a good couple of months, right? Uh, well, uh, it's more it's more so been uh, since like since I started doing like the uh, my more TCG centric stuff. Uh, like anytime I do like one of the big content uh, episodes, they always mm -hmm. blow up. Like uh, mm -hmm. covering tier zero is probably the big the, has been the biggest boom. Uh, for like for my channel but recently not yeah. so much but you know you you take what you well, can get youtube waxes and youtube wanes but let's let's get a wax going folks wax Act on wax off that's Woo. what i'm saying uh. i'm never playing this fucking for <laughs> <laughs> i thought i loved it and now now i'm not so sure but that's the thing is like i think i do love it because these decks both of these decks yours and mine just get stomped by the actual meta but like boy when they show up in a game it is not fun yeah uh but thank you for coming on out i greatly appreciate it and thank you all for watching we'll see you next time a huge shout out to my dark law level patrons jukes otaku gamer x prinrin and ryza 339 as well as all of my other patrons over on patreon.com if you want to help support the channel and see my videos a day early consider supporting me on patreon where support tiers start at just one dollar a month if you enjoyed what you saw here today, consider subscribing to the channel. We're actually getting really close to 20,000 subscribers, so any little bit helps. So be sure to pound that subscribe button. Thank you all again, and I'll see you next time.